everyone welcome to another edition of adorn with dignity we're on day six and today is the continuation of yesterday's uh constant mitzvah to love hashem um and we're going to continue on with that theme and just to recap yesterday i talked about um that if we were to stop and think all of the uh good that hashem bestows in our life uh when we begin to start thanking him it begins to awaken something in hashem that wants uh for him to also bestow even more goodness upon us and in turn also to the world uh, so it says, um, as mentioned, that through thanking Hashem, we cultivate our love for Him. And how can we implement this in our daily lives? It says we can thank Hashem for the myriad of miracles that He forms for us every uh, second of the day. Uh, for instance, for the gifts of seeing, uh, for your family. Um, you know, uh, the list can be truly endless. And it says, that indeed, when we visit a hospital and observe all the machinery some patients need in order to survive, um, for example, the feeding tubes and catheters, um, it helps us to appreciate our incredible bodily system that are working properly. And if uh, you are literally uh, suffering from some kind of illness, certainly you understand this, uh, this statement. And uh, sometimes, unfortunately, it's not until that we are in a position um, where things are not working properly, whether it's in, uh, it doesn't just have to be about our body. It could be something that, you know, has for shalom is going wrong in our life, whether it's our job or... Um, you know, uh, family life, whatever it is. And I think at that point, um, you know, we, we tend to look back and we say, I don't know what I was complaining about. Things weren't all that bad. Um, but that's the thing. I think sometimes we focus too much on the bad and we don't focus enough on what's going right in our lives. And that's what, uh, you know, this book is trying to tell us that we have to start uh, sw switching uh, the focus uh, to the more positive. And in doing so, you're going to only see the positive. So it says, uh, we can also thank Hashem on a personal level for His kindness that He bestows upon the whole world. For instance, through thanking for nice weather. And for sure, you know, Hashem gave me the wonderful zahus to live uh, behind a forest. And, you know, I get up very early to Davin. And I start around uh, maybe 5 o'clock. And uh, I think He's brought a new uh, bird into the, into the forest because there's a new song that's being played. And it's, you know, it's funny. It, it's very funny how you get to, you know... Um, recognize all the different sounds and, and you know I, I happen to be very musically inclined so for sure I, I can tell the difference um, and there is a new bird on the block but I'm so grateful to Hashem uh, that he creates not only these species of birds uh, but he allows me to hear their song that they sing to him um, so it's, just a, it's, it's such a wonderful thing to hear his creation also thanking him and, uh, and, and to imagine that he thinks he does all this just for our entertainment so um, really, thank you, Hashem, and uh, I really appreciate it. So it says, if we were to think of the millions of gifts that we receive daily, our mouths would be continually, will continuously resound with the words, Ki le olam hasado. So it says, people have reported that every night before they go to sleep or when they fold the laundry, they go through each member of their family, and they thank Hashem for every organ that is working properly. It says, for his spiritual and emotional health, and for his hatzlacha, academically or socially. And even that, you know, um, especially in this day and age, people are so finicky. They're so finicky. And I think sometimes there's such a lack of Derek Eretz uh, between people that they don't even realize sometimes when they're becoming very rude or if they're hurting somebody's other uh, feelings, has for shalom, they don't even realize. I think that, that uh, unfortunately, we have become so desensitized to someone else's feelings uh, that we do things. And, and we're very... Um, you know, I mentioned the fact that we were like a microwave generation, and I think we've become also just so um, quick to react without thinking out our actions properly. Um, so this is really, you know, something that uh, a lot of people, including myself, that we all have to just work on and just be a little bit more sensitive to what someone else is going through. So it says, as we recite the bracha of Aser Yotzar, that we can picture the insides of our body and how our organs are functioning so harmoniously every second of the day. Now imagine, we just talked about, um, you know, how we are just so desensitized. And if Hashem has made the body, if you think about it, there are parts of your body. And, I, and, and those of you who followed Kosher 2.0, you know, I'm like a real nerd when it came to medical things. And the more that I learned about the body, the more that I realized that there were it is truly a miracle from Hashem because there are components of your body that just, in, in, in terms of science, they just, it can't be possible. There's things that, you know, that are like fire and water, and yet they all live harmoniously. 
um, together. And I think this is also a picture of what Hashem is trying to get us to be like. Remember, we're all one unit. Klai is one unit. Um, and one, if one of, even one of us is hurting, so imagine your tooth, the smallest part of your body, if that's hurting, you really, you're out for the count. You feel it all over your body, that one tooth. Um, and it doesn't matter how big or how small that tooth is, it really will affect the whole bo the body. So it's the same with cholesterol. When some, somebody's hurting, it really is affecting all of us. Uh, so maybe it's something we should uh, take cues from, you know, we're always trying to uh, figure out ways that we have to come closer to Hashem by uh, emulating His attributes, and, and peace is one of those things that we should be striving for all the time. And the book also states that some people have found that it's very helpful to start a journal, a Thank You Hashem journal, uh, where they write down all the things that they are grateful for in that day, and it helps them to focus more on the good in their lives. So it says that uttering the statement, Ki throughout the day can literally transform our lives and infuse our, uh, us with a love of, of true love for Hashem. But the Yitzhara has tactics, you know, and it says in truth that quite, uh, it seems quite simple to be grateful to Hashem and to love Him. Hashem performs thousands of chassidim for us every second of the day, and it should be self-understood to thank Him. Yet the Yitzhara is well aware that through expression of gratitude to Hashem, we will come to love Him and earn thousands of mitzvot and zechusim every second of the day. Therefore, he tries the utmost to paint a picture of a, um, that everything is black and to convince us to focus on the things that are not going according to our will. And this is very true. Um, and, you know, Rabbi Nachman was very, uh, he, he was just, you know, wow. You know, Hashem, thank you for Rabbi Nachman giving him the wisdom and the insight to um, bring such, you know, teachings about, uh, you know, happiness, joy, and simcha. And, of course, you know, this is why we love breast lift, right? Because everyone could use happiness. And this is what, uh, they, they, it's like their, their hallmarks, what they're known for. Um, so this is the thing. They, they, they're really good. They've been really good also about bringing this teaching to the world. Uh, that you have to focus on the positive and, and Hashem is always doing everything for good. Um, but it, the example here is given. It says that if you take a white paper and you put a tiny black dot on it, and you only focused on that dot, you know, it was, it'd be like, that's all you could see. Yet, if you gaze on the white part of it, you'll find that you won't even notice that the black dot is there. And that's kind of what they're, you know, saying that this is, should be the way we are as well, that we have to be focusing on all that is good and not that little speck of the black. So it says, combating the Yitzhara, we should remember that even if we're challenged in a certain area, the good in our lives that outweighs our Nesayonos are a thousandfold. Every time the Yitzhara reminds us of difficulty in our lives, we can combat him by remembering that everything Hashem does is for good. We can also focus on many other gifts that Hashem bestows upon us daily on a daily basis. Through this, we will strengthen our deep love for him. So even if you're going through a difficult financial situation, you have to thank Hashem for the good that you have. If, you're, if you have a roof over your head, you ate today, everyone is well. Things are going. Things are going great. You have no idea. People, there's people in a way worse situation, Lolaino, and, and I pray that we should not be in that situation. But things are going really, really, really well. You had a hard time at, at your job. Be thankful you have a job. So there's a lot of people struggling to even find Parnassa. So um, really, we have to start thanking Hashem for everything we have. So it says fulfilling the mitzvah of loving Hashem, and we're closing up. It says each time we feel true love of Hashem, we fulfill the fundamental mitzvot of loving Hashem. As we learn in the lesson, this can, this love can be stimulated through the performance of a mitzvot with joy and thanking Hashem for His great kindness. The mitzvah of loving Hashem can be done throughout the day, and as we perform, you know, all our daily, you know, our, if we're running errands, our chores, um, we can always think, you know, Hashem, I'm doing this, whatever it is, because I love you, and I also want to emulate, emulate you. I want to, you know, if if I'm, you know, fixing dinner, whatever it is. It's just the same way that he pre he prepares for us our you know our food our parnasa everything. I want to emulate you, Hashem, in this way. So help me to do this and let it be a mitzvah um, for you. So it says uh, through this we can perform thousands of mitzvot on a daily basis and thus come closer to um, our dear Father. So it really you know these these last two chapters it almost seems you know they almost seem you know what does this have to do with covering your hair? But I have to tell you again if you don't have the proper foundation. Um, you know, going into this mitzvah is going to be a lot harder, especially in this day and age. You have to make sure that you have the proper foundation and you have to, uh, really start to recognize, um, you know, the internal dialogue that's going on in your head, uh, because you're going to find that when you're getting ready to take on this mitzvah, if you're at that point where you're ready to, ready to elevate, 
you're going to find that you're going to be reacting. Um, but if you're not in tune, you're, you're going to totally miss it and, and things are just going to be happening and you're going to feel out of control. Um, so it's, it, this is kind of like giving you the setup for you to start getting more in tune with Hashem. And that this way, if, if there becomes a situation where you, you, you know, the eight said I was getting ready to come and he's ready to pounce on you, that you're starting to build this, um, uh, the safe, the, you know, the safety net of, of learning. My first reaction is a sham. I need your help in this. Um, but I got to tell you, um, you know, I have to tell you that, uh, the mitzvah of Kisurosh has been, um, I, I, probably my most defining mitzvah and it is a mitzvah that has brought me to places that I could never have imagined that I can get to and this has all been through Hashem's goodness and grace um, you know sometimes we think we're doing something so simple um, but we have no idea the effect it's having on the world and uh, I'm just so eternally grateful to have been afforded the opportunity to do the mitzvah one more day um, but even more than that, I'm so happy that Hashem gave me the koyach and the strength to teach the book again one more day. And so I'm really grateful for all of uh, you um, who are tuning in and listening. I thank you so much for all the support. And, um, and that's it for today. And I hope we'll all be together again soon. Besarat Hashem.